Hi, um, my name is Troy. Um, I have my my YouTube channel at uh, Troy's Cards and Cars, but this would be the first video I set up under my what I'm hoping to be my son's YouTube channel, and we can start doing videos uh, on his channel. This one's going to be more dedicated toward uh, um, the diecast stuff. Plus, he wants to do some videos for his own toys. Uh, this video is actually going to be a uh, response video to Saul's challenge for a die-cast um, on-card collection. And uh, the collection I'm going to do is, as far as I know, not available um, as a, a solid set or single set purchase. Um, either from Mattel or anything. It's a Hot Wheels set. And... It's going to be the uh, under the 2018 and the 2019 race uh, race team series. Uh, the 2018 is where I started collecting Hot Wheels. Actually, uh, I of course I had Hot Wheels when I was a kid, um, but um, in 2018 I was walking by a display for the black and gold set. And stopped and you know saw the cards and thought it was neat. It's like, what's this all about? Um, and got to reading on it and come to find out that uh, I never actually knew this. Uh, in 2018, you know, Hot Wheels turned, as all the collectors probably know, uh, turned 50 years old. And well, that same year, so did I. Um, Hot Wheels were introduced from Mattel in 1968, and I was born in July, on July 31st of that same year, 1968. So I picked up those five, come to find out later on, of course, there was a chase car, and I didn't know the first thing about chase cars, and that was the uh, the gold Camaro, which I ended up having to buy online for entirely too much money. Um, but, you know, that year, of course, uh, Hot Wheels and Mattel did an, an array of, of 50th anniversary cars um, and one of the series that I ended up doing and I ended up really liking and uh, liking to the point where I've actually started now going back all the way to 1991 and trying to grab all the race team cars not the race day series but the race team series the um, the blue with the um, numbered sides um, but for 2018 the 50th anniversary set I did complete uh, the race team series and also for 2019 um, both of those were number 210 but then they had variants along the way so the first one we're going to do is the uh, HW50 or the 50th anniversary on card race team and I'm not going to do it as you'll see in a uh, number version from the uh, series but I'm going to do it in number by the car and if I can get this to focus, it, it just will not. There it goes. This is car number one, the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. And it does have the Hot Wheels 50th uh, anniversary logo on both the car and the card. And it's got the 50th anniversary rims uh, that were released just for that year. So this is car number one. Number two was a new for 2018 release. It is the Rise and Climb. Again, same uh, orange bottom, blue back card. And uh, the 50th anniversary cars uh, used a kind of a different blue than some of the standard um, darker darker blue race team and there it is right there HW50 race team this is you know 8 of 10 but still this is car number 2 and this is the only year that I really know of where Hot Wheels numbered each car individually uh, so that's number 2 Number three is the Bone Shaker, and the Bone Shaker came in uh, different variants for this series. But the Bone Shaker is um, a very well-known uh, casting. Again, with the orange bottom, the number three on the side for the number, and the 50th anniversary card. Card number four is the Fastmaster. Also new for 2018. 
same orange bottom. 50th anniversary uh, wheels and 50th anniversary logo on both the card and the car. HW50 race team. Number six is actually one of my favorites. I actually have one of these, uh, two of these open, both this one and one of the color variants. Uh, that is the two, 2009 Ford F-150, and it's an F-150 four-door pickup. I drive a 1999 F-250 uh, extended cab long bed pickup. So I really do like this casting. Number six is the 1970 Pontiac Firebird. There we go, and it's got the, this one's really nice. It's got that large 50th. Uh, you can see it right there on the on the trunk of the car, of course, on the side and the rear quarter panel. 50th anniversary rims. It's got the what looks like the turbo coming through the hood. Standard Firebird type front end. All right. Trying to get that in the light just right. Sorry. There we go. Firebird's a nice casting. All right, card number seven is our first variant. And it's the red and orange variant. And what I've just noticed on this one, um, on the logo it says special wheels and that's a card variant because if you'll notice all the other cards none of them have that so that's a card variant it says special wheels but it still says HW50 race team it is the bone shaker is but it's the orange variant I think that uh, I'm not sure if this was exclusive to Walmart or not but that's the first color variant for the series Number eight is the 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner. Again, the 50th anniversary logo is on the, the hood or the, the rear trunk and on the rear quarter panel. That's a nice casting. And then the race team series colors, I, I really do like it. I think I've got one that's similar uh, and it's done in the more traditional dark blue. Uh, instead of this light blue uh, color that they use for this year. Number nine is the Dune Daddy. There was a new for 2018 casting. The spare tire uh, on the top of the car, because it's a rally car, is actually done in the same blue translucent as the windshield and the lights above the windshield. That's the Dune Daddy. That's number nine. Number ten turned out to be the car, at least not number ten itself, but the casting in one of the variants of number ten turned out to be the bane in my side for this uh, particular um, group of cars this uh, this series it's the 1970 Ford Escort RS 1600 the Ford Escort for this one was always released also released as the Super Treasure Hunt for one uh, for one case I need to go ahead and get some light at the bottom because I'm noticing that you guys don't get to see there's the bottom of the because the way my light is I've got it just at the top and my camera is coming in from forward this way and this also has these special wheels. As a matter of fact, oh, starting at 7, 8, 9, and 10 have special wheels. That one, the card is a little bit um, along the side, but it is still on card. Card number 11, also special wheels on the card, is also a, a color variant. It's the Rise and Climb, which was number 2, and it's the orange variant. And it's got the 50th anniversary logo on the seat, on the, the roof of the car. There we go. 
I think it was also on the roof of the car on the first one. Yes, it was. On the blue. Sorry. There we go. Number 11. Alright. Now, in the series, they actually skipped number 12. And it did, I've looked in a few places and everything and could not figure out why they skipped number 12. But it goes to number 13. Number 13 is a Walmart exclusive variant. It's the 50th anniversary Zaymac truck. It's the 2009 Ford F-150, but it's in the Zaymac, which was released through Walmart only. Exclusively through Walmart. That's that's real nice. And I've, I've got one of these open also. So I do have one carded for the series, yeah, the set, and I've got one open that's in my garage. The thing, one of the things that's different in this one, that is a uh, actually a first, and the rim is not made of a uh, silver chrome; it's a gray. It's still the 50th anniversary rim, but it's in a, a flat gray, not flat, but it's a kind of a gloss gray. Whereas the rest of them are all chrome. The next one is the last one of the set that I got, um, what it did for me complete it, and that is car number 14. Car number 14 was the 1974 Escort RS 1600 in the Super Treasure Hunt. Uh, if you look right above, right in front of the 14, you'll see the TH markings that is done in the Spectra Flame, Spectra Flame Blue. The decos are pretty much the same, whereas a lot of times they'll, they'll do a variant of the decos but in this case it's almost exactly the same uh, the rims of course are different though the rims and tires the uh, the real rubber uh, real riders and uh, it's a different rim which is usually how you identify the car a lot of times you'll find uh, either on the hood or the roof of the car some kind of different paint scheme or deco but in this case it you know well the color of the car itself really got it that spectra flame blue versus that baby blue and all the rest of them and it does still have on even though it's got the uh, the special card there it is on the back you can kind of see it the super trash hunt loco that's number 14 number 15 uh, was a real lucky hit for me um, I ended up finding this at a Kroger and I had, a vi I had a video of it, and I think I released a video on my own YouTube channel. That's going to be Troy's Cards and Cars. And it is the Bone Shaker Ultimate Chase. Uh, this car was, there's no no card, uh, you know, anything. The, the thing that made it special, of course, it does have the Spectral in Blue, but right there on the, oh, I'm sorry, on the front of the car, let me get it down so you can see it. There's that. You, I can't get it really get it to focus, but right here on the front, right in front of the uh, the engine stacks, is the U, and it's for the ultimate chase. And it was a limited release, just like a super treasure hunt. It also has the real riders with the different rims and a spectra flame blue. And I ended up really getting lucky in, in catching this one in the wild at a at a, um, at a a Kroger here in town. So that's number fifteen. Wait, let's see this one up here. And the last car of the series, number sixteen, is the HW50 Concept, which is a new for twenty eighteen. It was a you know a new car. A new casting, and I think they've they've they released it a few times, you know, since their first year it came out. Pretty original looking. And that is the 2018 race uh, race team series, the entire set. Then in the following year, 2018, I do have that one also. It was also a 10 car set with variants. Uh, with variants, it turned out to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, I think 14 cars. 
but they didn't do the numbering scheme on this one. Um, actually, I think I'm missing one. I think this one right here was done in two colors. Um, this one we're going to go with the numbering on the card. This is car one of ten. This is the Chrysler Pacifica, new for 2019. And I do believe they did this one in a maroon. And I don't have it with the set, but I'm almost positive I've got it. I just didn't pull it out for whatever reason. I'm going to have to research that. But there it is, and you'll notice also right away, it's done in a more, you know, gloss blue. It almost looks like the Spectre Flame blue of the uh, the Super Treasure Hunt from uh, the year before. But the card itself is done in a standard, you know, standard blue with white behind the uh, behind the clamshell versus that kind of tannish color from the 2018 series. That's car number one of ten, Pacifica. Number two of ten, also a new for 2019 release, the hologram, and it is the all clear front, what looks like a tractor trailer, you know, hauler, but it looks more like a race truck. Really unique looking. Hologram. You never notice it has special feature or the uh, the front clicks up and down the front spoiler. Number three was actually the Mad Props. The Mad Props has been released before, but it's in you know an airplane. And they've you know they've done you know kind of auto variants and stuff like that. Let's say or car variants um, in the race team series before, but. Uh, I don't think they've ever done anything where they actually added a plane to it. But honestly, I think the reason they did the plane now in the series is that because uh, of the popularity of the Red Bull Racing series and all that, with the you know because there are racing planes now. Number four, the Mustang Funny Car. I did get one of these to open because I was thinking it was a funny car and I have a series of funny cars I have displayed with the top open but lo and behold this car did not open it's a funny car that is riveted shut I was kind of upset by that so it's number 4 of 10 the Mustang funny car number 5 is going to be the first one where you have a variant Standard number five is the Morris Mini, and that's the main line there for the race, you know, HW race team. There it is again, a wheels race team, and that's the standard um, Morris Mini. And the variant for this one also ended up being a little difficult to find. And I was lucky enough that my son dug it out, um, also at our Kroger. He was buried deep in a, um, a, a rack in the back of the rack up against the wall and found it and that is the Morris Mini where is the where is it where is it where is it there it is right there behind the front tire um, you can see it the TH the Morris Mini Super Treasure Hunt and instead of having black tires or black rims it's got a gold color rim I think for the most part and if I hold the two side by side the interior on this on the uh, main line is red, whereas on the Super Treasure Hunt it's silver. The number ten on the top of the car, you see it there, is in a white circle, whereas on the Super it's kind of in a gold circle. The rest of the uh, decos are pretty much the same, except on the front of the door there it says racing whereas of course the TH is on the door of the super but there you go and of course the stripes in the hood white on the main line gold on the super treasure hunt and that Morse Mini is in there I don't think well you can I can barely get you a glimpse of it right I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera to see the super treasure hunt symbol behind the car but 
that clamshell is kind of tight. Yeah, that blister is not going to really get that car shake to see it. So those are both number fives. Number six is a six and nine Dodge Charger. I have one of these open because I just love that casting. I'm Mopar and Plymouth kind of guy. I mean, I like the detail. Actually, even though they didn't paint, I like the detailing they did on on the plastic for the front and the rear, and even on the bottom. And I do, I I do like, and you know, I like the uh, the decos used for the the race team. That's car number six of ten. Number seven is the next variant. The mainline standard is the 2010 Ford Shelby. GT500 Super Snake. And it's there it is in the standard blue race team colors. And the variant. Also numbered seven number seven to ten, and even the car itself is still number two. So it didn't change the car numbers, but it is in a black. The stripe down the middle um, is red and blue versus red and gold. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can do it this way. Red and gold there. Red and blue there. There you go. That worked. And that's car number seven. The 2010 Ford Shelby GT500 Super Snake. Number eight is also a variant but it's a different kind of variant it's the Corvette C7R in the main line for the race team but the variant the color variant actually isn't listed as part of the race team because it's such a special car and that's because it's a target red but you notice the decos are exactly the same it's the Corvette C7R in the race team decos but it's not listed as part of the red team because the target reds are listed as all red edition and they don't even have the numbering because the target uses their own numbering for their when it, you know their up to 12 series of their racing cars even to the point where if you flip it over congratulations you've just scored a target only exclusive vehicle collect all 12 find them throughout the year only at target but it is still a Hot Wheels race team variant. At least I think it is. So I do have them both. And that's number eight. Number nine is another Corvette. The Corvette Grand Sport. That's a beautiful casting. I mean, the... Carvet Grand Sport is just, I mean, just one nice casting. And then in that blue with those race team decos, I think it's, it's a fantastic looking car. And number 10 for the 2019 final car is a variant. The first one is the Drifts in the Blue. Standard H, you know, HW Race Team Series Blue. Car number 10 of 10, and the variant is this yellow. So there you go. Those are two of my favorites, and I do have a uh, bunches of others uh, that I've done and that I have a uh, complete series but um, I do end up I did end up liking the race team series car so much that I've started to go ahead and try to find all the race team series uh, automobiles and I might even switch over and I do have some of the race day the race day series aren't quite the same but some of the the paint schemes uh, do match up and for some of them I ended up trying to pick them up but uh, there you go for Saul. Challenge answered. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, please like and subscribe. This is uh, again going to be my hopefully my son's uh, toy channel. I'm going to try to go ahead and 
uh, share a lot of the diecast videos I have over at Troy's Cards and Cars um, along with uh, this channel but hopefully in the future um, this will be exclusively the diecast and Troy channel so thanks for watching uh, please comment subscribe um, give me you know click them a thumbs up and uh, hopefully eventually you'll you'll get to share some videos with my son thanks again everybody please uh, be safe and stay healthy thanks